I'm Scott Parent, and this is Relevantly Speaking. Hi, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to this week's show. Wow, it's been a while since we've done a proper show. Now, let's get this out of the way first. I'm no longer a full-time employee at Media Trust. Now, without getting into the hows and the whys, let's just say that sometimes businesses evolve and plans change. I'm incredibly grateful to Media Trust for an amazing three-year adventure. That said, the adventure is not quite over. Earlier this week, I'm happy to report that we came to an agreement that allows us to continue to produce Relevantly Speaking. Now, this show has always been my baby, and I'm thrilled to know that it's so important to the team at Media Trust, too. Now, moving on, you may recall that I was at South by Southwest Interactive a few weeks ago. I had this great piece ready to show you, and then all the reorg, reshuffle, reboot stuff started. Now we're back on track, and I really wanted you guys to see this piece that we put together about South by Southwest. Let's roll that clip. South by Southwest Interactive. Ah, yes, that annual pilgrimage to Austin, Texas for geeks, gamers, social media hounds, advertisers, marketers, bloggers, and a slew of others looking for the latest and greatest in technology. In years past, there's been a lot of great tech and smart people, but sometimes it sounded more like an echo chamber of people geeking out on tech rather than focusing on business implications. This year, there was a shift. I saw companies and attendees starting to dig a little bit deeper into the ROI of using such technology. I mean, sure, geolocation technology and its social media uses are great, but how do you turn that into revenue generation? There was definitely more attention paid to that concept this year. Now, in addition to the typical players in the web space, we saw a fair share of online brands carving out their share of youthful enthusiasm for all things new and different. I mean, hey, if it's at South by Southwest, it's got to be cool, right? Now, once the convention day is over, South by Southwest just doesn't stop. People flock to the dozens of parties that occur nightly during interactive. And lest you think it's just an excuse for a cocktail and some music, I can tell you that much of the most important networking that I've done has been sharing a beer on a rooftop deck while talking to a potential partner. Now, attending this event for me is not just about leads. It's as much about the passionate and diverse people that I meet every year. I leave the conference each time awash in creativity and new ideas that can help me do my job in a more inspired way at Media Trust. Now, one final note before I go about my experience this year at South by Southwest. Don't be afraid to take the road less traveled. I skipped an industry party one night and I found myself at a honky tonk bar watching Johnny Cash's backing band while hanging out with Slim Jim from the Stray Cats, Chris Shiflett from the Foo Fighters, and Marco DeSantis from the band Sugar Cult. Now to me, that was a really great moment. And that's what South by Southwest is about to me. It's chasing your passion and finding those really random, really great once in a lifetime moments. I'll see you guys next year. Now, I realize that Austin seems like forever ago, but were you at South by Southwest? What did you think and what was it all about for you? I'd love to hear your comments over at blog.mediatrust.com. Finally today, we'll be at AdTech San Francisco in a few weeks shooting interviews for this show. Now, if you're someone that we should talk to, please email trip at tfoster at mediatrust.com and we'll set it up. That's our show for this week. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next week.